Hi guys, this is Unit 1, Lesson 1, Reasoning Numerically. Now our objective here is that we'll be able to reason quantitatively to solve real-world problems involving rates, which is just a real fancy way of saying percentage, including unit rates and reporting accurate units. Now for example, what if I said that 80% of students who go to high school end up graduating? Now, for unit rates, that would mean you have 80 graduates out of 100 students. Now, reporting accurate units definitely matters. Um, for example, if this was a known fact, if there was 80%, it wouldn't be accurate to say, oh, around, mm, around 70% graduate, okay? That is not accurate. What is accurate is 80%. Okay, that is accurate. Okay, so let's look at the your turn. All right, so our first year turn for your group is to find and write the graduation rate for California. Now, what's in front of you is one of the most powerful devices in history, okay? Um, I think personally the internet is one of the best things that ever happened to our species. So go ahead and Google it. What is the graduation rate? Um, let's be more specific for high school, uh, for California, okay? It's gonna be a certain uh, rate, again, rate, and that was in my explanation. So find that rate, and then see if you can rewrite that rate as a unit rate, okay, which is what I did in my example down here. Um, and try to report with accuracy, okay? All right, your turn two. So solving for the following percent problems. Um, round to the nearest hundredth and incorrect units of measure. So 80% of $200, well, wh where would that come in, why? You know what I mean? Like you see this problem and you're like, uh, why? Why am I doing this? And I kid you not, it's because, well, if you go shopping, um, people will put a sign up and they can mess up. And, and I, I've seen this happen plenty of times where the cashier register, uh, the, the clerk um, is literally just like, what? That's not right. And it's like, well, it's on the tag. Next thing you know, you walk away saving money. Well, 80% of 200. Now there's several ways we can go about this. Um, you could say, you know, 0 0.80 uh, times $200. And you can use your, your calculator if you want and get the answer. Or if you want, you could do 80 divided by 100 times the $200. That will still get you your answer. Or if you want, you can get schmancy and you can start reducing. You could say, well, that's just 8 out of 10 because these zeros, you know, you can cancel them out, eliminate them. You could do 8 over 10 times, uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, 8 divided by 10 times 20. Um, you could do that and get the same answer. Or you can get, uh, you could reduce the 8 tenths to 4 fifths. But if you realize 4 divided by 5 is 0 0.80, so that's kind of nice to know. Just be aware of all the different representations or ways you can go about to get your answer, okay? Now, do the same thing here, and one of the things I was trying to make sure is use the correct units of measurements, okay? So whatever your answer is here, obviously it's in dollars, okay? So pay close attention to what units we're talking about, what's our context, okay? So go ahead and work on this with your group, and uh, let me know as you progress. All right, so our language objective. Demonstrate to a partner how to use dimensional analysis to convert a rate. And I know you're just like, what is that? All right, what is dimensional analysis? So dimensional analysis is really just saying something like this. Let's say I have 75 um, minutes. And I wanted to convert that to hours. Okay, well, that's where I want to use dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is just this. You have 75 minutes, and you have to ask yourself, well, we have to get rid of the minutes and change it to hours. How do we do that? Well, 
we know that one hour is going to be exactly 60 minutes. So in reality, this is dimensional analysis. You have a unit right here, multiplying to what you're going at right here with your unit. And basically, well, 75 times 1 is just 75. These minutes will actually cancel out, and all you're left with is hours, which is good. That's a good indicator that we're doing this right. So we have 75 divided by 60 hours. And if you actually do this in the calculator, you should get 1.25 hours. So this is an example of using dimensional analysis to convert a rate. All right, your turn number three. While using dimensional analysis, convert 92 inches to feet. And then while using dimensional analysis, convert 90 minutes to hours. So very similar to my example right here. All right, precision. Precision is the level of detail of a measurement determined by the smallest unit or fraction of a unit that can be reasonably measured. So obviously, if you're watching this GIF, you're just like, wow, that is, look how precise that guy is. He literally went to the smallest degree, the smallest measurements possible, and he was able to do something very interesting. So that's an example of precision, okay? Um, if you, let's see, if we look at your, your turn, number four, um, what is more precise, one foot or 12 inches? Now, why? Now, base your argument off the definition, okay? So, again, read the definition of precision and uh, try to explain with your group. Try to get a consensus going, okay? And uh, we'll write that out in our notebooks. All right, last definition, accuracy. It's the closest to the actual measurement. And if you don't understand the GIF, um, yeah, do some research. That's a stormtrooper, Star Wars. All right, your turn, number five. Which is more accurate to say? I earn around $150 per day, or I earn $156.75 per day? Why? Okay, so use the definition and your own thoughts. Okay, guys, so once you're done with your, your turn, uh, just let me know, and uh, we'll get going. All right, thank you.